Hi, hope you're having an amazing day. As you saw from the title of this video, today we're gonna to be doing a green look for St. Patrick's Day, which if it's not today, it's one of these days this week, hopefully, if I'm planning this correctly. But basically, I went ahead and used the BH Pistachio Palette. So many people have raved about this formula. I did find this one specifically at my local, I believe it was like Marshalls or TJ Maxx. So I did use this along with a lot of other green products just to stay with the green theme. So if you want to see how I got this look and my thoughts on everything that I used today, of course, just keep on watching. Well, for that, don't forget, if you like drugs and makeup, go ahead and stick around, subscribe, maybe hit the bell so you're notified whenever I upload. And if you can like the video, if you like it, and the video is going to start right now. you can see i already filled in my eyebrows basically i went in with the products that are in my shop my sash for the month of march which is the awa studio slim brow i've really been enjoying this again so far and also the beauty creations brow pomade this is called their eyebrow definer gel in the shade ebony and i have been really loving that combination i did include a couple of new dollar tree finds the first one is this ellie colors lip balm and this is the one in mint so basically for this video i'm going to be using a lot of green products so it can be with the theme of st patrick's day so i did go ahead and pick up i believe two types of lip balms so that's how the lip balm looks this one personally i've never tried so i want to see how it is let's see how it works oh very glossy Ooh, you could definitely feel the mint and not feel like you could taste like the mint sensation like gum or something it's it's really nice i like it so i'm definitely going to keep using this and it just worked out so well for today's video so i don't really have a green eyeshadow primer but i'm going to go in with one from my shot my stash again and this is the beauty creations dare to be bright color based primer in ballerina girl and if i look tired is because i am it's literally 8 p.m but I have to get this filmed so I can have it ready for you guys this Thursday. So, yeah. But I was not planning to film today. And I did go to work earlier, so that's why I look a little tired. So for today's palette, we're going to go in with the BH Sweet Shop Pistachio Palette that I found in my local, I believe it was TJ Maxx or Marshalls, for like really cheap. So I've never really owned these types of palettes, but so many people rave about the BH formula. And this is the one, again, in pistachio. Really cute. And I did also feature this on my Instagram. And in my TJ Maxx and Marshalls, they had this one along with the pink one. And this is the one that I chose. And it works out so well for today's video. So I'm not going to do anything too crazy or anything because, again, it is 8 p.m. at night. And I'm not going to go anywhere. But I do want to kind of try this out and see what I think of this formula. Because the shades in here are really stunning. I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Dessert, which is the lightest green tone. And I'm going to throw it in the inner portion of my eye here. Oh, that is so stunning. Next, I'm going to take the shade Nutty, which is this green shade here. They're all green, but yeah, this one's so pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and start packing that on here. That is stunning. Taking another brush, I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Guilty Pleasure, which is just a little lighter. And I'm going to use that along with Soft Serve, so these two on the end. And I'm going to start blending out this dark green. Alright, going back to the first green shade. What I didn't expect about the lighter tones is that they're really pigmented. So they kind of took over the look but now i'm just going to add that darkness again I'm taking an aoa studio brush this is the e136 brush i'm going to go ahead and go into that deepest dark shade in the palette i'm going to start once again just trying to deepen out this outer corner am i loving this i don't know honestly i don't know that dark green shade is so patchy out here on the outer corner I'm not really loving that but let's keep trying all right so i just took the shade sweet life which is a first shimmer shade i'm just going to pack that on the lid as you can see right, next taking my Ewa studio artista liquid liner in the shade forest green and i'm just going to go ahead and draw the wing first and i'm going to go quite dramatic today and i'm just gonna bring it in here so that is how I've been creating my wings so far these couple days. Um, I'm starting out on the outer corner and kind of getting 
thinner and thinner as I go in closer to my eye and I think that just complements my eye shape way more than starting first and then creating the wing so that's what I've been doing so far and I've really been liking it all right I went ahead and added some of the romantic beauty pearl liquid liner and this one's in the shade 08 over top of that liner I think it just added a little something extra next for mascara I'm gonna go ahead and take the AOA studio length elongating mascara in black from AOA studio once again and I did do a whole chamisse haul recently and I did include this mascara so this is the first time I'm ever using this the wand looks pretty promising Ooh. <gasps> oh right off the bat it's already working so well all right right off the bat i'm loving this mascara already so there's one eye with it and the other without i think it looks so good i thought it was going to be dry like the last one i tried but no this one's like really good so i'm not going to throw on that much because i'm going to go ahead and apply some lashes right now so impressed by the mascara it's honestly really good next for eyelashes i'm going to go ahead and use the aoa studio a plus glam 3d lashes in the shade jiju i think i don't know how to say that but these are it so i'm gonna go ahead and throw these on and we'll be back for face primer i have the amuse color correcting face primer and radiant glow in anti-redness from chamisse i also have this one from metallic deluxe and this is the high maintenance poreless face filter as well as the simpsons revolution primer base so i'm gonna go ahead and throw this on first and again we are sticking to that green theme it definitely looks very much like slime in there it's really nice and hydrating so I'm going to go ahead and take this on the skin. Taking the Amuse face primer as well. These Amuse primer smell so good. Very clean. And nothing overpowering, but it's really nice. I think that's enough primers for the face for 8 p.m. Um, so I'm just going to skip out on this, but this is actually a really great primer from Metallic Deluxe. And also does come in a different variation. Um, really nice. I talk about Italia Deluxe so much on my channel. I love that brand. So good. I didn't bring a foundation with a green packaging because I don't think I have one. But I do have this that's in my project pan which is the LA Colors Liquid Makeup. It's a foundation and basically I'm trying to use this up. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this all over. But the sponge I'm using is green and this is a lemon or like a lime shaped sponge from the Tapatio and I believe it was Hip Dot Collection. And I did purchase this from, I believe it was TJ Maxx. So I'm just going to go ahead and spread this out. The sponge got so big and it's so soft. It's really nice. All right, again, no concealer with green packaging. So I'm going to go ahead and take my Beauty Creations Flawless Day concealer and i really have been loving this again this is in my shop my stash and this is in c13 i love the packaging the doe foot applicator and the color is also really perfect for me i completely forgot to cream contour actually just gonna leave the concealer set there for now i'm taking my elf cream contour palette that's in my again project pan i have been not using this i was supposed to use it today but i didn't wear any makeup except for liner to work today so like at least use it one time all right so that's all the cream contour i'm gonna do i'm not gonna cream um, blush or highlight today so i'm just gonna go ahead and start blending this in i do feel this is a cute sponge it's really soft however it's like really soaking up a lot of product so just keep that in mind i believe it was like 2.99 or something it's really cute and soft for under eye set i'm gonna go ahead and take my ellie colors contour palette and once again this is in my project pan just to set the under eyes I swear this is lasting forever it's like not moving in my mind like it looks the same but i'm just gonna keep using it until it's gone and i do take it on the nose and the inner portions of the face and for all over powder i do have this pressed powder from the dollar tree and this is the be pure infused pressed powder and i picked it because it does have that green kind of writing on it so we're going to go ahead and use this and it is just a, a translucent powder for when i remember this is really good next taking my face palette and once again because it has green writing we're going to use this one from revolution and the simpsons and this is their face palette i believe this collection is no longer available but those are the shades we're going to be working with now not sure why i have this in here 
I don't think I'm going to use that blush, but I am going to go ahead and bronze up the skin with that shade. Not sure about the highlight either, but I do have some Project Pan. I'm going to my stash of makeup that I can use. All right, for blush, I'm just going to go ahead and take some of my Romantic Beauty blush, and this is in the shade 01. So it's just a really beautiful orangey moment. Kind of keeping it higher on the face. All right, so I do have this Ellie Colors Gel Liner, and this one's in the shade Rose Gold Shimmer. I really love throwing this on the inner portion of the eye, especially because it's giving in that um, kind of gold implement to this like um, St. Patrick's Day moment. So I'm just going to throw some of that on the inner portion. I'm also taking a new product to me from the Dollar Tree. And this is the LA Colors Marshmallow Eye Pencil in the shade B Teal. Really pretty. So I've never used these. I, bit, I did buy a couple of shades from this line. All right, so that's how that product looks. I do want to see. Okay, that looks nice. All right, taking my e.l.f. This is called their Detail Crease um, Brush. I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Nutty, which is this one here. And also that deep green tone as well. Next, going on to lips, I'm going to go ahead and take the Ebony York Sec Secret of Ferro Lip Liner in the shade Brown. So I'm going to go for a more brownie lip just because it goes with everything. Ellie Colors Pout Lip Gloss Matte in the shade Enticing from the Chamisse website. Really pretty brown tone. For lip gloss, I'm going to take the Wet n Wild lip gloss in the shade Jade from the Dollar Tree. And this one has a bunch of green little shimmer tones. So pretty. All right, before we get into highlight for the face, I'm going to go ahead and spray my face using the Ellie Colors Hydrating Face Mist. And this one is in Cucumber. Oh, it smells so good. All right, for highlight, I'm going to go ahead and take my Beauty Bay Highlight in the shade Beam because it is very, like, kind of almost golden um, I don't really love it because it's so shimmery it has so much blush going on look at that so pretty but so shimmery in person I'm also taking some on the brow bone all right guys so this is the final look let me know down below your thoughts on everything I honestly really like the end result I didn't really have that much fun with the eyeshadow palette honestly the BH a pistachio but honestly the end result looks really nice i really like that lip gloss it really brings out the green tone and the brown it's just so nice i really like this look again let me know your thoughts down below and we made it to the end we made it to the end i hope you enjoyed watching as much as i did filming this video today everything that i talked about on the names of the prices are going to be down below as well as any videos that i mentioned throughout this video or videos that i uploaded last week don't forget to upload three times a week on tuesday thursday and sunday so if you could stick around that would be amazing i'll have my instagram handle displayed on the screen i post a lot of makeup finds from drugs that are high end so if the entries you go ahead and follow me there and it'd be so amazing if you could like and subscribe of course you don't have to you're your own person you make your own decisions but it wouldn't hurt to get this video a like and i'll see you guys on the next one bye